Hello and welcome to Spotlight on Jackson County. We've got a very important information-packed show for you today. And joining me in the studio here at WKFK is my old friend and our circuit clerk, Joe Martin. Joe, it's so good no, to glad see to you. Glad to be with you, man. Yeah, I'm Thanks so for having came. me back. Oh, man, anytime, anytime. A lot of fun. Joe, this is probably one of the most important elections in the history of this nation. It's coming. Well, up. it is. It is. It's important for everybody. As I tell you all the time, it's important for everybody to get registered to vote and, and, and get out voting in, in every election. But uh, this is election is uh, really, uh, uh, I think, it's probably going to be one of the biggest turnouts we've ever had in a presidential election. Uh, you know, we have people that uh, vote sometimes in the presidential election only, and they don't vote again. And uh, uh, that's unusual, and that's sad, but that's the fact. Uh, we have over 78,000 registered voters in Jackson County, and I hope that all of those folks are going to get out and register and, uh, and, and, and not only registered, they are registered, but the ones that are registered to get out and vote. But we want to encourage the people who are not registered. You know, you still got time. You've got till uh, October the 6th. Uh, if you're 17 years old, if you're in high school right now and you're 17 years old, we'll be 18 by November the 6th. Uh, whether you're a senior or a junior, whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as you're 17 now, we'll be 18 by November 6th, you can register to vote now still. And we want people to do that. And if you're over that age, if you have moved into Jackson County or have lived in Jackson County a while and had registered, we want people to come on and register. They can go to the city halls, so Goche, Ocean Springs, uh, you know, Moss Point. And, of course, Pascagoula just sends them over to us, Doug, and, and we handle them there. So, uh They've got time. Uh, if they've changed their voter registration, if they moved somewhere within the county, they may have moved from Pascagoula to Hurley or uh, from Pascagoula to Ocean Springs, anything like that. The law requires that you vote where you live, eat, and sleep, not where you lived previously. You've got to vote where you're actually living, eating, and sleeping now. So they can come and uh, change their voter registration, at the, uh, do the form at the city halls, or do the form with us. And what we'll do is get that information uh, from all of the agencies, the cities, the federal agencies that have them, the libraries and stuff like that. And we're processing these things. We're processing them daily. Uh, we're trying to get the cards out, uh, the voter registration cards out to them within a timely fashion, within a couple of days. So uh, they've got uh, the rest of this week and they've got till October the 6th, uh, which is the deadline. And we're going to be there that Saturday from 8 to 12. Uh, for people to register to vote or change their voter registration in Jackson County. So uh, we encourage people to do that. And if they have a problem with that or don't know where they may be uh, living or know where they're supposed to go vote or, or know where their precinct will be, or if they register and get their voter registration card and don't know where that is, we ask them to call us at 769-3040 uh, and uh, get with us. Uh, we're in the process right now of poll worker training sessions. Uh, all five election commissioners are having our poll worker training sessions for the poll workers that will be assisting the voters on election day. And, uh, you know, this is really a team effort. It's a, it's a team effort between our office, the election commissioner's office, the poll workers, and the voters. They play a very important part of this election process is, is to go vote and understand what's on the ballot, uh, Doug, and get involved and ask questions. Uh, you know, so... Uh, the poll workers do a tremendous job, and we want everybody to know that we're there to assist them any way we can uh, before the election and on election day also. Well, Joe, you've provided a tremendous amount of leadership for all of this. Uh, I know you don't, you're going to be modest here and not take a whole lot of credit for it. And I know it is a team effort, but we appreciate your, your leadership all these years. Well, thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you and the things that you do. And, and it's really simple, folks. I mean, if you, if you have so a question, easy. if you don't know something, call this office and they will be happy to assist you. And if, if you don't, if you want to go by the courthouse, somebody will come to that desk with a smile on their face and they're going to help you post haste and they're going to take care of you 
in a short period of time. You could go, if you have a lunch hour, you'd be out of there in 10 minutes and you can go eat lunch. Right, right. It, I mean, it's just simple. Right, it's, it's, it's so simple for people to register to vote now. Uh, we still have a little bit of time. If they can't make it to the courthouse, if they'll call us, uh, we can mail them an application. They can fill out the application in the comfort of their home or the comfort of their business and mail it back to us. But uh, they're running out of time on that because we want them to make sure. But what's so easy is going to your city halls, going to the courthouse, and getting that done. And, and we're there to help them. It's, it's very easy. And if you don't know, I mean, you're on the, you're in the same spot you've been at in the courthouse That's forever. Right. Yeah, we're in the old part of the courthouse on the first floor. Uh, come see us. Uh, it's very easy to get access to us, and uh, we'll help them any way we possibly can. Now, what have we got coming up? Is we've got the presidential election, right? I know we got a congressional election, right? And we got a senator, we got a U.S. Election? senator's yes. race. That's right. Uh, we have a Supreme Court justice for our district, and we have all five of our election commissioners. Now, uh, four of our election commissioners are unopposed. Uh, one of our election commissioners is uh, is opposed, and. Uh, right now, we, we will be getting uh, three new election commissioners, and uh, our election commissioners do a, a tremendous job uh, working with the people. Uh, in Jackson County, uh, we assist the election commissioners. We used to run them, but uh, our office used to run them, but now we assist the election commissioners. And, uh, you know, in fact, we left a poll worker training session uh, this morning for one of the districts, and we have two more training sessions uh, tomorrow and Friday. And so uh, uh, they they do a great job doing putting all that together. And it, like I said, it's a team effort. Yeah. So if somebody's moved here, you know, you can answer those questions. You, like you said, if you move from one city to another, you need to go and change that. Right. Uh, what if somebody's not going to be here for the election? Very good point. Uh, absentee balloting. We we hope we're going to have the absentee ballots done within the next couple of days. Uh, we've had a lot of people call us. Uh, we have already emailed uh, many ballots to our military, uh, and we're getting responses from them and our people that are overseas. Uh, we're doing that also on a daily basis, and we're taking requests on a daily basis uh, for people who will be out of town, and they're telling us where they're going to be, and as soon as we get the ballots, uh, you know, uh, we, we will send those ballots to them. The easiest thing to do, though, is if you know you're going to be out of town, once we get those ballots, just come into all of us and vote in actuality, in person, in our office. Now, once we get the ballots, we'll be there every day, 8 to 5. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're also there during the lunch hour. So if you have a lunch break and you uh, want to come and vote, and you have a and, – and we have so many uh, easy ways to vote now. You know, Doug, when I first got elected, if you were uh, going on a church trip or if you were going on vacation, the law did not allow you to vote by absentee ballot. But now we have come so far in advancement, uh, the laws changing to allow people to cast their ballot and to, you know, this is the freedom that we have uh, as registered voters to uh, vote. I always tell other people, and we've talked about this before, if you don't vote, don't complain. And I also tell people, if all 76,000 registered voters come out, which is good, which is what I hope we're going to do, or if 50 or 60,000, it's going to cost the taxpayers the same amount of money as it costs if, if those people showed up or if everybody showed up. Because we got to prepare for everybody in those precincts to be able to come and vote. So uh, absentee balloting, uh, they have many, many reasons. Uh, if you're on vacation, uh, a lot of people take vacation during this time of year to go to the mountains and enjoy the change of the leaves and stuff like that. But under the law now, you can vote by absentee ballot. And if you're not sure... Uh, some of the other reasons, um, if they're over 65 years of age or older. Another reason, if you work in a shift and your shift is on election day from 7 to 7 uh, and you can't make it to the polls, you can come and vote by absentee there. We have a lot of people that work uh, away from Jackson County, a lot of people that work offshore. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my point to you is there's really no reason or excuse for not registering and voting. Uh, uh, your absentee ballots will be processed. Uh, we'll be there every day, 8 to 5, and then we'll be there Saturday, October the 27th, which is uh, from 8 to 12. And then the last day in which to vote by absentee ballot is November the 3rd from 8 to 12. So uh, we encourage everybody uh, to, to vote uh, and study the issues and the candidates and, and, and get out and, uh, 
you know, uh, exercise your right. It's, uh, like I said, it's a freedom that we have, and we need to do that. Yeah, you know, I, I said this yesterday on another show. Uh, we got to remember that all through the history of this country, we have had men and women who have gone and fought in foreign lands, and, and some pay the ultimate sacrifice That's for right. us to have that right to go vote. You're so right. And uh, we had uh, the largest deployment of uh, Mississippi National Guard troops leave the state back in uh, 05, and we lost uh, several men from uh, Jackson County and, and George County. One of them was Sean Cooley. He worked out as an ER nurse out of the hospital, and they were there to, to protect the Iraqis. Right. Uh, and allow them to go vote for the first time in the history of that right. country. And right. they, remember, they all had the purple finger. And, and uh, so, I mean, you know, exercise your right. It's 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 something that uh, is unique to America. Not everybody in, in the right. world can go do that. Well, and also kind of tying in with what we're talking about. You know, I was looking at the number of Jackson Countyans that just went on the honor flight. I think we I counted 14 people from throughout Jackson County. Uh, uh, Virgie Davis was one of them. He used to work at the courthouse. Uh, there were several of them. Uh, uh, Francis Frederick. Uh, I, I replaced, I followed him as king of YMBC after he was king. And But those people, they gave their ultimate. They, they put their lives on the line for us to have the freedoms that we share. Uh, Felix Celo, who we just talked about, uh, who had passed away. Right. He went on the honor flight. Uh, him and I've known he and Nettie for many, many years. Yeah, he had a real good time. I, I'm glad he made that. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I, and I want to tell while we're talking about that, all those folks that do the honor flight, uh, there's so many of them, and I don't know all of them, but I want to commend them here publicly on the TV station for a great job because every day we're losing more of those men and women uh, who have paid the sacrifice and have done, offered their lives for us to have the freedoms that we have. Uh, that we're not speaking Japanese or German right now. That's right. Because they gave us and fought and, and put their lives on the line for us. So we have so many privileges and so many things to be thankful in Jackson County in the United States uh, that we need to sit down every now and then and just thank God for what we have. Yeah, you know, it's been really close to my heart because I've had a son who, uh, who's done two tours overseas uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan. and. Right. Uh, I tell you, my hair is a lot thinner and a whole lot grayer because of it, but thank God he's home now. But, you know, we can't forget that, and no. uh, it's something that everybody, they've all fought for. And like you said, you're emailing ballots to soldiers who are overseas now. Sure are. So there are young men and women who are That's still right. serving as we speak on this That's TV exactly show. Right. That's exactly right. And we can't right. forget what they're doing either. Mm -hmm. And they're not only in Afghanistan and Iraq, but all around the world that are in parts of the world uh, protecting our freedoms and, and, and serving. And so, uh, you know, I'll commend all of them. Yes. Well, we're going to have to take a short break here, Joe. We're going to come back with more information about voter registration and this important election that's coming up with my special guest, Mr. Joe Martin, Circuit Clerk, Jackson County. So don't go away. We'll be right back right after this. Welcome back to Spotlight on Jackson County in this very interesting and informative show. And we're talking about the election that's coming up, not only for the president, but uh, we got a congressional and a Senate and some other races in there. And helping me to give you this great information is my old friend and longtime Circuit Kirk from Jackson County, Mr. Joe Martin. Joe, you've been doing such a fantastic job all these years. I really appreciate Thank you. the sacrifices that you have made and the job that you have done for the citizens of Jackson County all these years because Thank you've you. done a great job and uh, we hope you stay for a long, long time. Well, uh, I tell everybody I'm 64 years young and the good Lord's willing and the people still have me. Uh, I'm running again right now. Uh, but I also want to, you know, I don't want to leave without thanking my staff. Uh, You've got a great my, staff. My, my staff, they go from daylight to dark, and they do a tremendous job. Uh, Jackie Farton is my chief deputy, and I just have a great group of women up there that are always there willing to help, uh, whether it be for a marriage license, voter registration, absentee ballot, or the courts or, or jury duty. We handle it all and assist in the elections, too. And But they do a, a great job. We sure do. Well, uh, speaking of absentees, what if there's a like a person who is older and disabled and can't get out? for some reason. Is there a way for them to get an absentee oh, ballot? Well, Remember their family sure. go get the ballot? Oh, yeah. Well, no, what we do, uh, they can uh, they can call and request that they may be in the nursing home or they may be homebound. 
they can call and request an absentee ballot. Or a member, either their daughter or son, uh, can call. In fact, we had a, a young man whose uh, grandmother needed an absentee ballot when we were to poll worker training session this morning. In fact, it was Heath Hillman, our Assistant Secretary of State. Uh, some of them were down at our poll worker training session this morning, and uh, Heath is, you know, is retiring. I don't know if you know Willie and Sue Hillman. That's their son. No, I sure They don't. live in Goche. But um, he's done a great job as Assistant Secretary of State for election. But he's retiring and going to go into the ministry in uh, Ocean Springs. But he was talking about getting a ballot for his grandmother. And I told him to get his mom and dad to call us and uh, they can uh, do an absentee ballot. And let's say this, ladies and gentlemen. Say we have an individual that wants to go to the polls. I mean, they're adamant about they want to go and vote on Election Day at the polls. What we can do is they will bring that ballot out to them at the vehicle. Uh, we suggest that they go in a time when it hopefully won't be a big crowd there, maybe sometime between 9 to 10.30 or something like that to avoid the morning rush and then the, the noon rush, and then maybe sometime between 2.30 and 3.30, 4 at the latest before all the industries get out and start voting and things like that. But we can actually do a ballot right there, what we call curbside voting. So like I told you, we've made it so easy for people to be able to vote. and. You know, don't think any problem that you may have is too hard for us to handle. I mean, we will do everything we can to make sure you get your ballot and uh, get your ballot uh, cast and get it back to us. That's just what I was talking about, Joe. I mean, it's so easy. It's so everybody's so cooperative. They're they're ready to serve you. I mean, it doesn't take very long. I mean, it, if you have any question. You can either call them, you can go by there, they will answer it and they will make sure that you're taken care of right. in a don't, timely manner. That's right. And don't, like I said, don't forget that phone number, 769-3040, whether it be for your voter registration questions or your absentee questions uh, or anything that we can help you uh, dealing with our office. Uh, we're there to assist you uh, every day from 8 to 5 and even during the lunch hour and uh, we want to help them. That's the first time I've heard about curbside voting. That's a, that's a, that's a good service. Perhaps we should put some drive through windows in next time. Yeah, well, yeah, we could. <laughs> that wouldn't be bad either, you know. Uh, <laughs> with so much of these precincts that we use, a privately owned precinct, <laughs> so I imagine they would have a problem. Now, of course, we. Uh, that was a joke. I know that, uh, but curbside. That's uh, well, but it it gives you another opportunity. Absolutely. To cast your ballot, you know. No reason to say you. And didn't, you know, you a lot of people. I'm, I'm serious that they don't. They want to go, they don't want to vote by absentee. They want to go on election day and they want to have their ballot brought to them and they want to cast it themselves. And, uh, you know, you got to admire those people. Absolutely. Uh, for, for getting out and doing that. And uh, as we were speaking, you know, the presidential election, you have your Democrat Party, your Republican Party, your Constitution Party, your Libertarian Party, your, your Green Party, your Reform Party. Uh, so you, we're not telling you how to vote. Go vote, though. And vote for the for the candidates and the, uh, the uh, of your choices. And of course, you know we have the Senate race. Uh, uh, there's uh, four candidates there uh, in the Senate race, and the U.S. House of Representatives is uh, another four candidates there. Uh, in the Supreme Court Justice District uh, two race, there's two candidates there. And then, of course, as I told you, the uh, Election Commission is District One, District Two, District Four, District Five. They're unopposed. Uh, but they still have to be on the ballot. And, of course, District 3, which is out my district, uh, we have two ladies running there, uh, and uh, you will be voting on your election commissioners. And, and I can't tell you enough, I, I'll go back again. Those folks work day in and day out, and uh, uh, they have job security. It's a thankless job that they do. Uh, people, you know, when people go into the polls, Doug, and vote, they don't realize the amount of time and effort and hours that it takes to put an election on. Uh, the maintenance department helps us, the sheriff's department helps us, election commissioners, poll workers, our office. Uh, it, it's a team effort to make sure each and every precinct is open, air conditioners are working, the phones are working, uh, uh, and, and sometimes the heat is working, depending on what time of year it is. That's right. But, uh, uh, you know, it's a, it's a team effort. So, uh, and you know, the voters, as I told you before, the voters got to do their part. We're going to do our part come November the 3rd, or if they vote by absentee, they got to do their part. Now, tell us again, uh, when your office is going to be open, you got a couple of Saturdays, you're going to be there from October the 6th is the deadline to register to vote. Okay. October the 27th, you can vote by absentee from eight to 12, which is a Saturday. 
November the 3rd is the final deadline in which to vote by absentee ballot. Uh, I encourage uh, another point I want to bring up. The students that are off, uh, USM, uh, Ole Miss, State, uh, Southern, I mentioned Southern already, or any college, uh, junior college, it may be at Perk and they can't get home. Uh, you know, call us now. Don't wait to the last minute. Uh, and register to vote in Jackson County. Register to vote in the county in which you're going to have representation. I don't encourage you to register to vote in another county where you don't know the people you're going to be voting on. You know the people here in Jackson County. Register to vote for those people. And, and if you can't, uh, come home on Election Day. Uh, come home ahead of time and vote by absentee ballot. Or uh, we can send you an absentee ballot. Uh, but it's so much easier to vote in the office by absentee ballot than it is to have to go through the mail and so on and so forth. And uh, on our absentees, we explain to you uh, everything that you have to do to make sure that your ballot is counted. So please, when you get your instructions on absentees, read them, understand them. If you don't understand what's being instructed to you uh, f through those instructions, call us, and we will help walk you through that. See? It's so easy to do, and this this uh, this man and his his wonderful staff make it that way. And it's it's just so streamlined from what it used to be when I was coming up, uh, and it's so different. And it's it's there's no excuse, is what I'm not, getting at. There's right. no excuse to not not no vote. excuse to not vote. There's All no excuse. Vote. Now, if you if you're unsure where you're supposed to vote, if you've moved. That's a question that you can ask. I mean, just call that phone number. They can tell you sometimes over the phone. If you give them your voter registration information, everybody should have a little card. Everybody should have a voter registration card. And let me clear something out else. I'm glad we brought that up. Voter ID. You do not have to show ID at the polls. Uh, voter ID is passed through the legislature, but it has not been cleared through the Justice Department. So, folks, you do not have to worry about that. Uh, uh, you're not going to have to show voter ID uh, to be able to vote. Uh, uh, so we want to make sure everybody understands that, uh, you know, uh, that uh, that's not going to be a problem. We, basically what you do is you go in there, you, you give them your name and, and where you live, and they that's look right. it up in the, in the roll, and they check you off, and then you get your ballot. That's right. It's you very simple. It. Now, let me say this. Some people may have voted at the high, uh, registered to vote at the Highway Patrol office, uh, those, pe those people have a job to do too. Uh, sometimes we don't get all that information in, uh, but we, the Highway Patrol works with us on Election Day. If we have someone that's registered to vote at the Highway Patrol, uh, what we try to do is call them on Election Day. And, uh, but if you have a problem with that, what you'll be allowed to do is vote by affidavit ballot, and what you'll be do, the poll worker put on there, will put on there registered Department of Public Safety, and then what we will do is verify that ballot. Uh, all the ballots will be accounted that night. Uh, the ballots uh, at the precincts will be counted. Uh, the absentee ballots will be processed that night. Uh, uh, to uh, Hopefully we will be able to, depending on how many we have, and then after that particular time, any affidavit ballots that we have, uh, we will work with the election commissioners to uh, make sure that that individual is a registered voter in Jackson County and that they did cast their ballot in the correct district and precinct where they live, eat, and sleep. So, uh, you know, we're there to help them. You know, a lot of people sometimes say, uh, well, you know, I'm not going to go vote because, you know, so-and-so is going to win. I know that. But, you know, we had an election here. Uh, it was actually <laughs> Brandon a, Jones. He won by 11 votes. That's exactly and right. And we had one in uh, Gauche where a lady lost by seven votes, okay. and that happened to be the seven members of her family that didn't go That's vote. That's exactly right. So every vote counts, and I want to get that out there and make everybody understand. We had an election also, a supervisor's race that was won by one vote. We also had an election which was a tie when we had the Goche Utility District, which is no longer in existence. They drew a number out of the hat, and that's how the commission was uh, uh, nominated. So every vote counts. I don't care if you think they're going to win by a landslide. You don't know what the will of the people are, and uh, you need to be part of the will of that people by you getting out and cashing your ballot. We only got a one minute left. Let's get any, any dates and times out that you want to get out before. Again, uh, register to vote or change your voter registration. You got till October the 6th. Absentee balloting once we get the ballots in, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, we'll be there October the 27th, which is be a Saturday from 8 to 12, and November the 3rd from 8 to 12. Get out and vote. Thank you all. Thank you, Joe, for coming in. Thank we appreciate you, all the information that you gave us, and we appreciate you taking the time. I know you're a very busy guy coming into the studio and, and giving us this. Glad to help. Anytime we can help you, just let us know. We're here for you. Thank you, Dale. Thank you all. And we want to thank you for watching this very important edition of Spotlight on Jackson County. Remember, go vote. Exercise your right as an American. Thank you. We'll see you again next time.